Hey guys, what's up? It's Claudia here and today I am doing a layout share of the Amy Tendron Stitch Collection and I got it for Christmas last year so I started working with it in January and I made a few layouts with it so I'm going to show you some of them well actually most of them and this is just a layout that I did featuring a photo of my horse back when he was still my horse and my mom accidentally bought two packages of those Maggie Holmes open book gold foam figures so I used one package of those uh, to match with the stitch collection and it worked really well with the collection and another package with the open book collection so um, I really like the subtle paper in the in the background I really love that and I got the 12 by 12 paper pad so that's where I got all the papers from and you know just wanted to make a nice subtle page about me and my horse and this photo was taken a few weeks before I sold him so I really wanted to get as many photos as possible before um, having to say goodbye to him and I really like that rub-on camera and I really love the rub-ons in this collection so that's that layout and then this layout is just a layout of my boyfriend and my cat Mickey and it was taken when he was visiting me in the Netherlands last October and I just really like how my bedroom walls um, match the color scheme or well I guess rather I made the color scheme of the layout work with my bedroom wall I guess with the lime green color and I colored in the leaves of that paper with watercolor to create that color scheme and then I just pulled out some you know random bits and pieces to uh, you know finish my layout I'm not a huge fan of this layout but you know it's it's alright and then this is a layout of my cat Mickey and I took this photo last August and it was really tough to get a good photo of him because I didn't have anyone help me you know trying to distract him but it's really tough trying to get a cat to look you know interesting I guess or interested in anything without it coming to you so you know I just snapped away and luckily I got a few pretty good photos so this is one of those photos so I just scrubbed with it and again I used watercolors to color in those leaves and I really like how this layout turned out it's maybe somewhat simple but I'm really happy with how it turned out so that's that layout and then here is one of those layouts again that I'm not a big fan of and while I was working with this collection I was really into um, you know cutting my paper like that and also um, coloring the edges of the papers with watercolor paint so you will see that in most of the layouts and it's just a photo of um, uh, Cupido who is now renamed Romeo so if I ever say any of those names um, you know it's still the same horse I think I said that in my uh, kill the collection video for craft market not 100% sure but anyway um, this was a photo taken of when he was still mine and I basically got this camera because I wanted to have good photos of him so that's pretty much the only reason why I got this camera so this is just a nice photo that I took one day and I just wanted to scrap it so that's that layout and then here is another layout of my boyfriend and this was just taken on a day where we went shopping and you know we were just trying on hats and you know acting silly and then I just snapped this photo of him and I just thought it was a really cute photo so I wanted to scrapbook it and on the background there it was like this it kind of looked like the inside of a tree and you know I just put some watercolor on it to add some more color to the background and that's also why I mounted it on this piece of paper because it was really uh, buckling a lot so it's more stable this way and I just used a bunch of ephemera pieces and puffy stickers to, uh, you know, decorate my layout. Whoops. And then here is another layout of when I went to visit um, Romeo last August. So this was the first time I saw him after I sold him. And this is one of the photos that were taken. And the background paper is like, well, not all the way, but like these circles here and there were already on the paper. So there's already some kind of like 
color scheme that I wanted to work with so just you know pulled the side embellishments uh, with similar colors to uh, work with that color scheme and again I used watercolors to color in those leaves and bring more of that orange into the layout and you know I wasn't a big fan of this at first but looking back at it I you know kind of like the way this turned out so there is that layout and here is another layout of me and my boyfriend and the story behind this is just that one day we were going out and you know the weather was perfectly fine and then we were going to the I guess a snack bar where we got some fries and stuff like that and then when we walked home it just started pouring and we didn't bring an, a jacket or an umbrella or everything, anything because the weather was perfectly fine so we were completely soaked so when I saw this cloud paper and this is actually the first layout I did with this collection I just knew that I wanted to do something documenting this day so that's why some of the clouds are a bit darker to symbolize you know a rainy day and then some uh, raindrops coming from the clouds so there is that layout and this is another layout that I don't like so much um, because I don't know maybe because I feel like maybe there's too much yellow which could just be me that has a problem with that it's not that I don't love yellow I think yellow is a really nice color it's just that I'm not used to using yellow in my layouts if that makes any sense so this is just a photo of a photo shoot that my mom did with us when he was visiting us in the Netherlands and I really like having some you know good quality photos of me and my boyfriend so I'm hoping that his mother will be willing to do the same for us soon <laughs> So there's that. I'm not, there's not a whole lot else to say about this layout. And here is another layout of my boyfriend, and this is just one of his weird faces. Like I like to do photo shoots because I don't know. I feel as a scrapbooker, I want to get you know as many photos as possible to scrap, or at least have as many photos as possible, and then just decide for myself which ones I want to get scrapped or which ones I just want to delete or whatever. And I thought this photo was just kind of cute because he was just acting silly and that's a big part of us. We like to act silly together. So I just made this layout and I'm not sure if this is really red. I, I want to say this is more orange than red. So just pull aside embellishments that had that color. And you know, I don't love this layout per se, but it's alright I guess. So... And then the next layout is a layout of my cat Joey and he was just rolling around on the ground and I just thought it was cute to snap a photo of him doing that. And like I may have said in the past, I don't have a whole lot of good photos of Joey um, because he's really hard to take good photos of because he doesn't, he's, he's just not very photogenic, you know, he, he's a great cat but you know, taking photos of him can be really tricky. So this was actually a cute photo of him, so I decided to scrub it. And again, I used a bunch of watercolors to, you know, color around the edges. And that was really my thing back then. And I kind of like this layout. I think, I think it's cute. So there's that layout. And then here is a layout of me and my cat Mickey. And it's just a photo that my boyfriend snapped of me with him while he was there. And I really like... Well, it's kind of like a salmon pale orange color or something that was going on in this collection. I really love the way that looks. And I use a few rub-ons. Actually, those hearts are not rub-ons. But that heart is. And so is the love circle. And I really enjoyed the rub-ons in this collection. I don't know if I've said this before, but my first pack of rub-ons were from the Maggie Holmes Confetti Collection. Uh, not Confetti. I mean Open Book Collection. And they were a bit of a pain, so I wasn't sure if I ever wanted to get more uh, rub-ons ever. But I really liked the one from the Stitch collection, so I decided to just give it a chance. And I really enjoyed the rub-ons. They were a pleasure to work with, <laughs> if that makes any sense. So that's that layout. Then for the next layout... Uh, this is another one that I just don't like or I you know I'm like strongly disliking it and I'm not sure why exactly it's just I don't know I feel like I was trying different things and it 
just didn't work out in the end. But what I did do is I used a bunch of 6x6 six six, uh, scraps that were left from the 6x6 six six six, uh, paper pad and just lined them up. Um, you know, and I don't really know what I was thinking and just some random stickers here. I just, I just don't like it. So if you don't like it, I understand because I don't really like it much either. I feel like I had an idea for it in mind and then in reality it just didn't turn out that way. <laughs> you guys ever have that? I think most people have that sometimes where you have an idea in mind and then the end result looks nothing like it. So this was definitely the case. Um, this layout I do actually like though, even though it's quite simple, I just really love the color scheme of it. And again, I use those Maggie Holmes open book figures to just, you know, add some world and just the title. And I don't know, just really like this layout and I really love the photo as well. I might have to scrap that again someday. So, there's that layout. And then I think this is the last layout I'm showing you. Yes. So this is the second layout I did with the collection, and it's just a layout of Amy, our dog. Well, actually she's my brother's dog, but you know we call her more our family dog, I guess. So, um, I just wanted to do something with yellow, orange, and then there's a few hints of the green, or more kind of toy coys kind of leaves, but, you know, just wanted to try a different color scheme, because, um... I don't even remember what collection I worked with before this. Oh, it was the Create Paper Kiss Kiss collection. That was a collection I did before starting on the Stitch collection. So, you know, there was lots of reds and pinks in that collection. So I wanted to try a little bit different color scheme, I guess. And I'm really happy with the way this turned out. I think it's a really cute layout. And I love that feather, which was one of the rub -ons. So... Those are the layouts I did with the Amy Tangerine Stitch Collection. I hope you enjoyed them and thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.